When I first joined at Alphi and started teaching, I noticed that most of the students were going into school districts that were in their neighborhood. And then you find your student teaching placement and your participant observation placement all in the same environment. So what you've created is a little bubble. And then you hope to get a job in that same bubble, but more often than not, you don't. You feel so unprepared to work anywhere else. That's not good for teachers because teachers teach every child. And we know that research says that when teachers understand students because they're culturally responsive to students, we see academic outcomes that we're looking for. That's when uh, I thought, you know, we have to think about a model where Adelphi students get an opportunity to be culturally responsive so that they are comfortable working with children or anyone who are just different. About why don't we place students as a group, a cohort, into the school district so that the students in one class goes into these schools, do the observation, and come back to the classroom setting so that they can talk about their experiences. That's the model, the three model, the cohort, as a group, they go into the school system. The diverse the, placement. In the diverse placement, they capture their experience, bring it back to the classroom, and then they have the dialogue or discussion. When students came to the class, it was a requirement that all the students go as a cohort to one specific placement instead of them making that choice. Many of the students they said, what, we are, we are not going to our neighborhood schools? We are not going to uh, some of the communities that we are familiar with? Why Hempstead or why Roosevelt? That question immediately popped up. Many of our students have never had interactions with other people who are from different backgrounds than their own. Some of them were scared. Some of them were worried about, oh gosh, am I going to be treated nicely? They didn't know because they have never visited the school district. And the beautiful thing about this placement was, once they are in the school, then they are like, wow, this is an amazing school. They have smart boards, they have robotics, and the kids are amazing. Then we slowly move back, and they are comfortable going back and forth, so that's why this is the title of the book, Creating Culturally Competent Teachers in Higher Education as a Consequence of uh, Cultural Immersion. I'd say it's a manual, a guide, a reference, a reference where teachers can read it and get an idea as to why it's so important for us to address cultural responsiveness in this, in this manner, why it's so important for our uh, teacher preparation courses, to include this model. It also gives examples. I think that's part of the richness of this book, is that it gives examples and quotes the students' journals and some of their reflections as to how they've changed their perspectives and what they've learned and why the experience has been so invaluable for them. In universities where there's teacher preparation programs, work with cohorts, place those cohorts from classrooms into settings that are diverse outside of that comfort zone for every student. And then don't just leave them out there stranded like so many people do, bring them back into the classroom. Talk with them, reflect with them, listen to their journals, have them write their journals, share information, discussions so that students feel supported, and that students change their disposition. We're not talking about methodology. We're talking about their hearts. We're talking about connections. We're talking about understandings. We're talking about openness. Being ready to connect with students and to help them to do their best in a classroom. And when you invest in that level, then you, you will produce teachers who are highly effective in classrooms across the board.